Hey, Dad. What's up? Nothing, really. Just hanging out with your mother. Listen, uh, I wanted to ask you, do you remember that book I read last year? Remember the one, the title reminded me of our family get-togethers? For some reason, it slipped my mind and it's killing me. The title that reminded you of our family get-togethers? Was it that uh, behavioral book that you're talking about? Anyway, either way, I'm not going to remember the books that you've read. Why don't you just check your completed shelf on the VPL app? Come on, Vince. You think I can keep up with everything you're saying? I didn't grow up with all these fancy iDroids and smarty phones like you did. Can I ask what you're talking about? Dad, it's this two-step process. Open the app on your phone, take a look at your account. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to do this with you on the phone. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll wait. Let me know when you're there. Fans, did you know this app allows you to save titles onto a shelf? So you can read them later? Yeah, no, it's got some good features. And did you know this could keep your library card information in this app? I mean, you don't even need your physical card anymore. Yeah, yeah, I know. A anyway, Dad, did you figure out that book title you said reminded you of our family get-togethers? Yeah, I found it. Thanks. Okay, awesome. What was it? Surrounded by Idiots by Thomas Erickson. Hi, everyone. This is Vince from Vaughn Public Libraries. It's occurred to us that some Vaughn citizens still don't know about our VPL app. You know who you are. Anyway, if you're looking for quick and easy access to your Vaughn Public Library account and what's available at Vaughn Public Libraries, you're going to love the app. To help give us a closer look, my colleague Linda is here to show us around. Hi there. I'll be going through with you on how to download the VPL mobile app. So first off, you're going to type Vaughn Public Libraries in the Google search engine and you're going to click on it. It'll bring you to the main web page for the Vaughn Public Libraries. And this is what it will look like. You're going to navigate to Downloads and Digital. The icon looks like a cloud with like an arrow pointing down. That's what you'll click. Once you click under Downloads and Digital, you'll see um, ebooks and e audiobooks, films and television, magazines and newspapers, music newsletters, apps, and devices, you're going to click on apps. Once you do this, it'll bring you to the next page. And on this page, you'll see the VPL's mobile app. Von Public Library's mobile app is available to download from Apple App Store and Google Play. And it provides you with the two different links of the different digital devices um, that you can use to install um, the mobile app. So Vaughn Public Library's mobile app, you have the ability um, to check and manage your, your account. So you can view your account information, check out items um, or holds and fees you might have. You can also um, easily renew any checked out items, um, activate, pause, or cancel holds. Um, you can also search um, our items from our library catalog um, so if you have something specific that you want to browse or look at, you can do this. Um, if you are just browsing um, and checking out bestsellers or recently arrived titles, um, our library catalog will have that for you on this app. Um, also, we have uh, get directions to all VPL branches as well as hours and hours and information um, and what one good thing that I really like that's pretty neat is that it also displays your library card barcode for scanning on self checkout stations so this is very useful when you um, want to just grab your items and quickly go you can use the self checkouts and you don't have to waste any time so it's pretty cool um, so today I'm going to show you um, how to install on Android. So we're going to be clicking at the top here where it says Android in our link. And when you press on Android, it will pop up to the next screen which tells you to install, which you'll press and click install. 
it will prompt you to maybe a page that might look like this. I'm going to accept. And it's just downloading. Once it finished downloading, it will be green where the open is. And that's where you'll click open. And you can um, customize by um, uh, not clicking on these on the right corner here on the right side here if you don't want your location storage telephone camera all to be on you can you can um, you can turn them off but I don't mind so I'm going to continue I'm just going to press ok for this and I'm just going to uh, make it a full screen so before I do the full screen I just want to show you this is the VPL mobile app um, main web um, uh, page. Um, so this is what you'll first will see when you're on. Um, over here you'll see recently reviewed items. So all these titles you can just scroll to the right and to the left and you'll see what um, customers recently um, took a look at or searched for. We have ebooks and e-audiobooks, recent arrivals, just ordered Globe and Mail bestsellers. Um, an icon I want to um, just speak about is, um, or talk about, is the one that looks like a magnifying glass at the top, right? It's also like a search. When you click on it, it'll bring you to this page. And on the search engine in the box, in the white box, you can type in any item that you're looking for. So, for example, we're going to do Lord of the Flies. And when you finish writing the title, you you click search. And once you click search, um, you'll scroll and you'll see all the different uh, formats that we have with the title Lord of the Flies. Um, so we have the DVD, we have audiobook, we have book. Um, and if you want to refine your search and say you just want just books, that's the format you want. You just click on refine, which is in the corner here, right below search. And it happens to be the first one where it says format. We have it on any, but if we want just books, it shows you we have 15 in books. And you click on books. And now all of these um, items are just books, uh, book format. If you're interested in an, a book, uh, say this one, the first one, Lord of the Flies. Um, it shows all copies are in use at the moment, but if I want to place it on hold um, or look for where the copies could be available, um, if it wasn't on all copies in use, you will click on um, the far left beside the title. Um, title page, you'll see like a plus sign, like with a circle blue, you're going to click that and it'll prompt you to this box where it shows hold, add to my shelf, map availability copies, available copies, click availability details and cancel if you just want to go back to the, that page which we were on, previously on. Um, so this is where you would place your hold or add to your shelf. If you go under check availability details, you click on that. It'll bring you to the next page where it shows you the total copies that we have in our catalog. Um, in this case, we have 12 books. Um, right now, zero is available and we have one hold. Um, and it tells you the locations too on the left side. So I'm just gonna backspace that to go back to the screen. Um, if you wanna place a hold on it, again, you're gonna go back to that box, which um, you'll click on the plus sign and you're gonna click on hold. This is where we'll prompt you to this box, which is um, you have to put in your library card number and your PIN number. So it's the 14 digit um, library card number that's in the back of the library card that you have and the four digit PIN number um, that you created when you got the card. If you have problems um, logging in, you forget your pass, your, your PIN number, then you can just um, click the on the right side where it says forget your, your PIN you click that, you just put in your barcode number and send and through email um, or however you're set up, it'll give you the option to, to reset it and change and it cancel that. If you need more help or further instructions, um, you can give us a call and Librarian um, can help you with that uh, um, and navigate through that with you. So we're gonna just hit cancel for that. 
Um, so that's that. Uh, if you see the icon on the top right, um, it might be in different locations. It could be in the bottom if you're using, um, um, you're not using Android device. Um, so the three squares on the top right, if you click there, it'll show you explore, my borrowing, my shelves, location, and more. So explore. Um, when you click on this, this will just bring you back to the main page at the, um, or the screen that we first seen, the main web page on the mobile app. Um, the My Borrowing is, this will allow you to access to uh, your account. Um, it will prompt you to um, that box that shows um, your login. So you'll have to put your library card number and your four digit pin for this in order to log in to your account, um, which I'll show later. Um, the next one's my shelves. Um, this displays items um, that you have added um, to your completed in progress or for later sh uh, shelves. Um, the next one is location. This provides you with branch information, including addresses and hours of operation, um, as well as it presents all uh, branches on a map for you to view. And lastly, there's more. So when you click on more, It'll bring you to another page that shows you, you know, um, if you need extra help, there's help, um, there's privacy, uh, privacy policy, terms of use, there's accessibility statements and feedback about this app. You can change your settings. There's the, the cool one that's the My Library Barcode. So if you click on that, you put in your PIN number. So we're gonna do that now. With library card number and then we're going to put our pin number here and you click login and look how cool that is you have your your library card number available for you and like i said this is really cool when you want to uh quickly um use self checkout station you just scan your um your barcode and um, you can check out your items so i'm going to go back to that page or more and the last one is log out. So currently I'm logged in if, and you can log out um, when you're done or keep it logged in. It's totally up to you. So one more thing I wanna show you is if you go back to the three uh, squares, we're gonna go to my borrowing. And this is where you'll view, where you can manage and view your account. So currently we see checkout items. We have overdue eight. Uh, due soon zero total items eight we have holds so it shows you uh, ready for pickup active holds pause holds other really neat that it has borrowing history so like it shows you the history of things that you've borrowed um, with the card using it um, using the card with different items and showing a list of that um, and it shows the fees um, that you may have occurred and um, that's pretty much it um, I hope this was a helpful video and um, I hope you get to enjoy your VPL mobile app as much as I do. Our app is ideal to view your account details and to instantly access our search catalog. Not only that, you can actually request titles, renew borrowed materials, and shelf titles for later. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. We're going to be creating more videos like this that can show you how apps can make your stay at home life so much easier. From everyone here at VPL, thanks for watching and stay safe.